Hi everybody, it's Kim from Expressions of the Universe with your stars and cards and weekly wisdom for January 4th through January 11th. A little bit of extended because we have the full wolf moon and lunar eclipse on January 10th and the grand conjunction in Capricorn with Saturn and Pluto and the sun and Ceres and Mercury. A lot's happening within the next 10 days. We're in a huge transitional period. A lot of our lives will be changed after these aspects. And it really is about tapping into our feelings, boundaries, the protection that we put up around ourselves, healthy boundaries, and also discovering which is more important, home or work. It's that homework life balance. So if you know how to look at your chart, you can look that up for free at astro.com. You want to take a look and see where Capricorn is in your chart see which house it's in, see how it will affect you, see what planets you have in there. And that could give you a good indication of what is shifting. I will be sure to post in my blog when I get to that probably tomorrow, uh, an astrological house wheel. Friggin' dogs haven't barked all day. They haven't. But then this shit has to happen. All right, let's do some cards. Let's do some cards. I'm going to pick a crystal card. <laughs> pick a crystal card for the week. The whole family's going crazy. Okay, well, that's going to be in my weekly video. Thank you. That's okay. This is real life, people. And I just don't have time for a retake. All right, so we have Seraphos Green Quartz. I don't have this, but I have green tourmaline. I used that before. Ah, this is a healing time. Time for healing. So I'll get that up in there. I will post my green tourmaline that looks like this with that and give you the meaning of the Seraphos green quartz. Quartz would be clarity. The green, definitely, it's heart healing, healing of the body, mind, and spirit. I think that's going to be huge. It's going to be very important this year. Um, <clears throat> definitely, a lot of us waking up and becoming very clear on what it is that we want in our lives and which direction that we'll be going in. Do an animal totem for this transit as well. And then I will pick three cards for the week, which I will post on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Let's see. We're just going to go right here. Nightingale spirit. Love is all around. And I love that. It's beautiful, and I'll give you more of the meaning to that on Monday. Um, I look at this as royal beauty. It's about singing your song, telling your truth, speaking from your heart. I think that is gorgeous. And then let's go with oh, the Wisdom Oracle deck. For this week. I need to try and stay as positive as possible. Okay. While I'm shuffling, I just want to put out there continued prayers for Australia, for rain, and so that we can get those fires put out. There are so many people in danger, but most of all, most important to my heart are the poor animals that are defenseless and they have nowhere to go. 
makes me really sad. So prayers for rain. Some of you have reported that it has started raining in some sections of Australia. So keep up, keep up the prayers that Australia gets some good rains. Uh, the lunar eclipse on January 10th, it would be the 11th in Australia. That lunar eclipse, it's hitting at 2.21 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So here on the East Coast of the United States, we're not going to see it here in the United States. It will be seen in Australia, Asia, Africa, Europe, parts of Europe, uh, because of the time zone differences. And I believe that's where the biggest effect will be. We will all be affected by it. Lunar eclipses bring things out into the light that were hidden. Um, it can be a little dark and ominous. So we just, we're in a wait and see type of period. Monday's card is between worlds. And I think that that goes perfect because we have one foot here and one foot somewhere else, whether it be here on earth and one foot in heaven, uh, one foot in something from the past, one foot a foot in something in the future. Coming in on Wednesday is clean it up. So it's time for all of us to get our shit together and clean up our messes. I've been saying it. I need to clean my bedroom. Uh, I need to clean this office. Things need to be cleaned up, but it's also about cleaning up body, mind, and spirit. And I'll post this card on Wednesday. Facebook and Instagram and one more card. Oh, this one looks good right here. And this is about mending. So this will be coming in on Friday following that full wolf moon and the lunar eclipse. This is about mending relationships, deciding what it is that you are cutting and releasing and what it is that you are keeping and willing to heal and mend. More on that on Friday. So that's all I have for you for this week. It's been a long day of readings, and I just finished a four and a half hour astrology class for the year of 2020. I got a great reading today from a friend and client that I gave a reading to, Naomi Simpson. It was wonderful. I loved it. She looked at my chart. I loved it. And Christopher Wateki just gave me a little mini insight into something exciting that will be happening to me uh, mid-year, come June. And also, I wanted to mention Sensei Christopher Wateki is having his town hall Saturday, January 11th which I will be a guest speaker on. Now, this, the town hall is only available to his Serious Joy members. However, you can sign up for a 30-day trial for $3.99. Then you'll have access to that. You can cancel it, but his service is really great. So I suggest that you check it out. And that would be at SeriousJoy.tv and I will be sure to post the website somewhere down in here or in my blog or whatever if you have any questions. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends. We have a lot going on this week. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, comment, give me a thumbs up, and spread the joy. Until next week, I guess I will be working on the individual tarot scopes for each sign. I did do a collective one with time stamps, so go check that out. But I will be doing a further in-depth one once we get through this full moon. Just feel uh, the energy. It's a wait and see. Until next time, bye.